Hi everyone, I am getting ready to do five bracelets, leather bracelets. These are so quick and easy that hopefully we can get all these five done within an hour. So I started with my first one and I, um, this one here, you need four strands of leather and they have to be, um, each strand has to be double because you're going to fold it over. So, and then you're going to weave it into each other, into this infinity knot. And you can see um, Kelly from Kelly's Bead Boutique has a tutorial for a bracelet that's similar to this that has this infinity knot. So she shows you exactly how to do it. But if you look on the side, it's pretty straightforward. You just fold it over and then slip it into each side each other Ooh, and look at this my magnet is already and I just added the glue so I don't want that to pull out so be careful with that I have a magnetic um, ruler pull that off here so yeah this is I decided to add um, oh yeah it pulled it out so be careful with that I would leave this 24 hours to dry for sure especially on a on a bracelet I find that in here I think I would have I just you know what I need to move this ruler out of the way quit doing that so um, yeah I would have preferred the leather to be thicker so it would kind of jam in there and hold it as well but we'll see how well this glue does if it doesn't work tomorrow I might have to change it to a different um, clasp so yeah so let's I've already added the glue to the other side and I'll explain what I did to the I kind of want to have it in a square pattern here so I put it in make sure they're all in there good Oh, it's losing a bit, but you know what? I might just let me move that over. Let's leave it like that. Okay, so what I did was I did the, um, let me see if I can enlarge this a bit. Get that, there we go and focus. So you create your infinity knot. And you should be able to find that online on YouTube. Um, maybe in another video I'll do a very specific step-by-step -step cutting, measuring, everything. So then I took the two middle strands. You can see it here. Let's work off it this way. So the two middle strands here. These ones. And I put a spacer bead on that so you need beads that are big enough to hold two pieces of leather then you split this one up and you pass it through the next spacer bead with your top piece of leather and you do the same for the bottom one then you take the two middle pieces again slide that a bit the two middle pieces again and you slide it through a spacer bead and then you bring it through to your clasp and you do the same for the other side and this is what you get and I won't attach this doesn't look like it's okay so that's what you end up with so that is gorgeous let me see if I can pull it out so you can see the whole thing so there so there's your first and you can do all kinds of variations of this you can take one side is say black leather and the other side is white and do a yin yang um, motif or you can take all different color strands of leather and put it together like a rainbow or maybe some metallics or put the outside layers one color and the inside layers another color there's all kinds of things you can do with this so there's that one I'll put it aside so it doesn't get knocked around 
The next one I wanted to show you is this awesome one. So this is done with this gorgeous three millimeter leather. And this is the first time I bought the three millimeter leather because I knew that like this won't pass through most buttons. And if you were to do like a leather wrap bracelet, this is really chunky. <laughs> so this is more for doing something like this where it's very, um, you only need a couple of strands. So what I did was, um, I have these awesome anchor uh, closures or hooks and they have two holes in it so it's perfect for two strands of leather and then I went ahead and wrapped it with some copper um, eight, uh, 20 gauge wire and I'll sh I'm gonna redo this one so I'll show you exactly and uh, you do that by like folding you thread your leather in through these holes fold it over and then to hold that you use your copper wire and you just go to the other side this is you've created a loop and I apologize I'm kind of out of out of order here but I wanted to <laughs> I'll, I'll show you the actual process when I'm doing it um, I'm just there's a lot going on so I'm, I'm trying to get this video for you guys but uh, yeah I'm a little scattered so I apologize for that ahead of time so to create your loop you're going to use your uh, copper wire again and then you basically have this so for this one I'm gonna make this one but I'm gonna add a bead to the end for the focal but you could also use this as your focal like that so let's do that now um, I think I cut a piece already so I am working off of my niece's wrist and her wrist is seven and a half so I figured about um, I think eight a little less than eight um, eight inches with the clasp and uh, so I ended up and you need the amount that you're going to fold over. Uh, I am going to flip my screen down because I think that's why I'm, I keep getting out of frame. I'm so used to working in this area. <laughs> so, move that back and let's move these over a bit so we can make sure you see. So, I ended up cutting a 17 inch strand. So, remember you need this amount as well. So, that's maybe an inch or a little less so there you go so take your full strand and find the two ends and fold this like that and figure out where how big a so I did quite a large opening I don't think I need that big of an opening so as long as this will fit in sideways so we could probably go to about here and even a tick less so now let's get I'm gonna do silver this time because I want it to match the um, and you know what this is uh, 20 I think did I use I thought maybe this was 18 but you know what it does look like it's a 20 where is my Oh, well. I was trying to find the other piece to see. So let me. See. I think this is probably enough. I'm just gonna eyeball it and cut a piece off. So we want. So we could even go maybe there. Oh yeah, that's plenty. Let's see what this does. So the the reason I'm going smaller is you want it to stay on. So 
as long as you can hook it in. So I think that's where we're going to go. So what I'm going to do is I am going to fold a little piece over. And, you know, there's different ways to do this. So I'm just going to take a piece and fold it over like this. As you can see. And I might even see if I can squeeze that a little. And what I'm trying to do here is um, hide this end piece within the leather. So that's why I'm doing it like that. I don't want it to be rough. So it's sticking out. So I don't know, maybe I do it this way. I guess I could have put it in after now that I think of it. This is all new to me too, so I apologize if you're like, what is she doing? You're probably yelling at the screen right now. Emma. So I'm just going to wrap it. I think I might hang on to this with my flat pliers. And yeah, so this is the right gauge wire. Let me see if I turn it. it might be easier to. And that's this strand's probably too long. Well, so let's see if we can turn this. And I'm going to see if I can squeeze this down right now. There. And do the same on the back. And be careful not to scuff up your leather, that will scuff up, so. And we might just flatten that a bit. Make it look neat and tidy. There. Okay, so let's keep going here. This, um, let me use this thumb. This, uh, wire is, um, pretty firm. It's, um, permanently colored wire from Benacraft. 20 gauge silver. And that's about all it says. So you don't have to, you could probably get away with just this much. <laughs> Look what I did though. I guess I could, you know what, let me. So that first step was probably not necessary. So let's clip this and then we'll cover it. I don't know what fell. And don't do that. <laughs> this might be a dreamer. Let me uh, make sure this is tucked in. I keep going like this. There's no way I'll get through five bracelets. <clears throat> that's pretty. I think that's not too bad. Okay, let's use my good thumb. Actually, this it's going a lot smoother now. Maybe it was just because it was the beginning. It was a bit awkward. Okay, so now to get rid of this tail, I need to tuck it in. So let's well, let's cover this a little more. And squeeze these together. So this is looking really nice. Okay, so this looks like the back because you can kind of see the piece through it. Now you can't see it. <laughs> so I think I'm going to go through one cord and then like this. 
I think this is how I saw it being done. I'm going to leave a bit of a tail because I'm going to try and tuck it in there. Let's see if we can get that in there. I'm going to see if I can kind of bend it a little on an angle. It looks like that's working. Let me see if I fold it a bit. Oh, this is good. This is working. So, let's see if I can tuck that in. Woohoo, look at that. As my dad used to say, we're cooking with gas. <laughs> what <laughs> is he talking about? Kind of turn that in and so there's probably a tidier way to do this and uh, I'm sure I'm going to get lots of <laughs> advice on this but this is the quick and dirty way and again be careful not to scuff up your I just want to get this flat Maybe it's too long, it's poking. The, this is one of those times where it's like, okay, just leave it, because you know, <laughs> you know I'm going to mess it up. Uh, there, that's better. Sweet. So either way works. Just squeeze that a bit. And let's see if we can flatten these a little. beautiful perfect okay so now we are just gonna add now I got these gorgeous uh, I think they were like a Pandora bead I got them off of um, eBay years ago and I have a um, eyeglass cloth that has the polish in it so I'm gonna just do a quick polish. The, these are um, uh, silver plated and it, it looks a bit tarnished to me. That's, I don't know if it's making much difference. Let me add a bit of uh, polish. I use this Flitz polish. It's expensive, but you know what? It, uh, I haven't. Uh, I mean, you use for the stuff that we're doing. You use such a tiny amount. So I'm kind of don't want it to get into the grooves. That's exactly what it's doing. Uh -huh. I might have to. I might have to get a toothbrush to get that out now. I should have done this ahead of time. But part of um, me getting a lot of videos out daily is doing less prep and just, uh, you know, popping them out there. So they're not going to be as polished as some people's. So hopefully that's not a problem for people. If it is, you know, there's, there's videos out there that are a lot more polished that you can follow. Just I don't know what that is. That's weird. Something stuck in there. Okay, so let's move right along. And I left my glue open. Let's close that for now and put the lid on the polish. We don't need that all over the place. So 
just string on your bead. So this is for my niece, Allie. Oh, this is going to be tight. I thought I measured it. I might have been thinking. Let me see if I clip this on an angle, if it will slide in a little better. Okay, so put the first one and then the That actually worked, so let's see if I have enough. Let me see if I pull. I don't want to scuff it up either, and it looks like it is. I see it's getting caught here. What I should do is flatten it. Oh, it's coming through. But I'm concerned this is going to get scuffed up. Let's we'll see. Otherwise, we're going to have to change a plan. That end piece is a bit scuffed, but let me see if I can. And this stuff is really hard. It's not like I can squeeze it. Let me see if I turn this, if it will prevent it from. That seems to be working. So let me get this top one through a bit. Oh, of course that's the one that's... Okay, so this part I'm going to bend. I'm wondering if I can open up this hole a bit. And I'm trying to do them evenly. This is not friendship. Yeah, that scuffed it up. This is exactly what you don't want to do. Let me, well, if we turn it in, do it this way, and I can, oh, that's so sad. I'm wondering if I feel bad. I don't want to give her something that's scuffed up. So I may end up redoing this, but for the sake of the video. So that's why it's important to know what you're... I need to go a little more. It's not going to be... And this is getting super tight. <laughs> and let me see. Because i got to remember. Okay, so that should be the right... I will go and um, try and oil this and soften it, see if I can uh, use a marker to get the uh, color back to normal. And where's my clasp? So remember to put your clasp this way so that when you close it, it's that and not the, because it's different on the inside. I mean, you could put it that way if you want, but. Since we've got our A there, and sorry, in this way, and so this uh, leather is super, super stiff. 
that's probably a little too much. Yeah, 25 minutes for the first, which embrace it, which I thought was the easiest. Well, I guess it's the second. <laughs> we may get this done. <laughs> okay, let's get to it. Let's see if we can do this one the correct way. So we'll hold that like that. And we are going to just put that there to hold everything together as best as possible because it is kind of awkward. And pull your strand super tight. And I'm just going to let it be a bit wobbly because I will squeeze it and then readjust. Time being. So I didn't put as much wire this time. I should have. Well, it looks pretty good. And let's flatten this. One of the things I did on the other bracelet was I tried to flatten. The, the turn in the leather because it's uh, it's quite rigid. I might do it now. It's better to do it while it's not in the clasp. Okay, so I think we have a few more turns and then we can stick the end in. It's getting harder. There's nothing to grip onto. I think I'm going to have to take it back this way. Clip that end and tuck it in. Let's go a bit, a bit here. <laughs> Again, don't do that. <laughs> oh. Why are you guys watching me? <laughs> this isn't the correct way to do it. Oh, well, we're all, you know, doing things we've never done before and learning. You know, if I was doing this all the time as a professional, I probably wouldn't have time to do these videos. So <laughs> that's my excuse. Oh, that guy's coming through. Let's flatten that a bit. I might try and clip that, actually. Put this little piece that's sticking out. I need to get a pair of those clippers that get in really close. So let's poke that back in there and squeeze that shut. Come on. I went from laughing to now getting irritated. <laughs> Probably because the, the leather is so um, rigid that there's not a lot of place for that to go. There. There. Well, this is really kind of... <laughs> not friendship. Okay, so let's clip all these nasty pieces. We'll start with this one. See how far we can get with it. Don't do that. <laughs> this should be the video of don't do that, don't do that. This is not the correct way to do it. Please do not watch what I'm doing. <laughs> do not follow my instructions. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. Feel like you're playing Monopoly? There we go. So, this will probably be 
redo on my own off camera so I can fix this area here but you get the idea so this is a nice beautiful leather bracelet that's actually really nice so I, I maybe I'm being too hard on myself so there's our first two these are actually I'm surprised the glue is pretty solid I'm still not going to stick the magnet together but there's the first two okay so the next one should be super easy I have it all cut out so this one is this clasp here and it it's like a puzzle piece so it slides you see the magnets in there so I'll leave them out and I just cut the lengths for her wrist And I don't know if these are all the same. I might have to trim the end to make it to measure. So let's go ahead and how easy is this? So this is what the bracelet's going to look like. It's just, you can fold them over like this, like twist them a bit. Actually, I think I, that's what I might do. So it's pretty simple. Just just twist them a bit and make sure they're um, you know together somewhat okay. make sure one side at least is and then you can clip the others to the right so just twist and twist them over each other like that and then stick them in the glue so let's add the glue to these guys and you probably won't need a lot of glue for this maybe a drop on each because these ones are short and this leather is um, pretty thick and it fills up so that stuff's probably going to squeeze out a bit so let's start with all of them flush and I think this one here I cut on an angle because these fit in and then the other one's a bit tight so let's yeah so it's yeah you see how it came out let me I'm gonna turn it a bit make sure the glue gets on each piece of leather and wipe the leather the glue off a bit okay now gently kind of turn these on each other just to create a little pattern you can always add beads to that and let's see so these definitely need to be cut and I think why one is longer I think I measured these out to one size one's longer because that's the shorter piece when you start to twist your bracelet you're going to get shorter pieces so for it to stick into the um, class you want to make sure that they are the same length they're slippery suckers there that's it and just turn it to make sure every piece of leather gets some glue on it how easy is that look at that that's awesome ta-da beautiful okay so next one let's do oh we're not doing too bad this one here let's see if we can do this one quick so this one is um, I used a single strand of leather and I did a bunch of barrel knots with some beads and a um, 
a little charm but for this one I couldn't find a charm that matched the theme and I'm going to use this awesome colored kind of rainbow leather oh actually I do I have a focal bead it's this one here it's a piece bead so this will be the focal and I have these gorgeous check glass beads these I bought multiple strands of these different times I just love them I don't know what it is about them they're so gorgeous so I'm going to use those like these beads here and they're awesome because they have huge holes you can see I mean it's strung on leather how awesome is that and we're going to use this beautiful copper button so that'll really go with that and yeah so let's see what we can come up with for this one I will need my um, ruler to measure so let me pull that piece you know I might actually not measure it because um, I find the barrel knots take up a lot of space like take up a lot of leather so in doing this like this one here I ended up I was too short at the end so let me just go ahead and take three feet and then I'll have extra at the end. So one, two, three. That's that. So we'll start with the button. So I just put the button on. And this little end is dirty from going on the, I was testing it on some beads and stuff that were dirty. Um, so let me see if I can get rid of that, bring a bit more here. And we're going to use our barrel knot, put the barrel knot and take this strand one two three bring it around put it in your tube like that and push everything through the tube and all and there's your tail so pull that oh this is going to be gorgeous Look at that. Already it looks amazing. And make sure this is, so these barrel knots that are on your button um, and your, uh, on the end piece here that we're going to do, make sure that they're super tight because those are, when you're doing a double wrap, you have two strands so the knot's not going to go anywhere but since we only have one strand like one strand here this little tail once we cut it it could actually pop out so make sure it's tight so i am going to pull it as tight as i can get it so that it's not going anywhere there and, then, and of course that was that dirty spot so that, that works out perfect so I will leave a bit of a tail let me see if I can cut it on an angle there yeah like that perfect and if you wanted to you could do some cording around it and glue as well just as a second measure but I think we're good for now okay so you know what I measured this one so this one's seven so um, I'm gonna try and see where to put the knots that's that knot is an inch okay so yeah let's do an inch to each knot spacing so right here so 
Oh, now, if I can remember. Did I do this right? <laughs> oh, I don't know why I'm so confused. Maybe I shouldn't be doing this. Okay, one, two, three. It is slightly different than doing it on a wrap bracelet. And I don't know why I get confused, but uh, that is what happens. <laughs> so, please forgive me. Uh, eventually I'll get it. So pull your tube off and hang on to your knot. And let's check to make sure it's a little more than an inch. So I'm going to move it up. And it's still, show you here, still a little more. So let's move it to there and pull tight. So I saw a video that does this style, but they do a barrel knot. They do a bead, a barrel knot. So it's all like really close together. So it's quite interesting. I'll have to try that. Pull that one. So these ones don't have to be as tight. They're not going anywhere. It's not like the button gets pulled on. This doesn't really. So let's string on a bead. So we're going to do three on each side. Like that. Right there. Make sure you can see what I'm doing here. So then the second one. Uh, how did you see already I'm confused I'm so confused okay did I... oh my goodness this is silliness Not figure this out. What on earth? Oh, I need my barrel nut. Duh. <laughs> That's why I couldn't figure it out. It's the barrel knot that makes the difference. <gasps> oh boy. You know what? Here, here's my uh, justification. You seeing me do struggling with this is going to show you the mistakes <laughs> that you can make <laughs> and how to fix them. So how's that? And I actually thought of doing some videos with that as the theme. So I'm wondering if we do it right up to it or leave it loose a bit. I think we leave it a bit loose. <laughs> My belly's grumbling. I'm doing OMAD today, which is one meal a day. Oh, this is going to be awesome, but I'm going to have to keep track of the length because I could see this quickly getting too big. I think we're going to look at doing two. Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to put a bead on next rather than do double knots. That might give us some distance. Okay. I got this now. <laughs> this is probably the nicest bracelet of all of them. Yeah. and put it through and I'm not too concerned how close my knot is to the bead because you can as long as you hang on to your knot so switch your fingers hang on to your knot pull your tube through with your leather don't pull it tight yet and like scooch your knot over to where you want it and then pull tight and You'll see that you kind of squeeze it down. Some par parts of the leather is a little tighter than the others. I just kind of work it. This is looking nice. Just going to bring it up a bit. 
wait. But you can see this nice. Oh, this is turning out really nice. Okay, let's see. So this should be close to the midpoint because we're going to put the piece bead on there. Uh, we'll decide if we're doing the... Okay, we're at three and a half. And I would give it an inch for the... Uh, she's an eight, seven and a half, so eight, uh, those seven, and three and a half. So that's exactly right. So let's put the piece bead on. I may have to... A, I was thinking I might have to, um, yeah, see how it's getting stuck? Let me uh, cut an angle on this. And this trick is amazing how well it works to feed that through. And there we go, it's coming through. Look at that. And then it slides on easy. <laughs> it was just that spot that was tight. So sweet. Look at that. That's pretty. Okay, next one. Sometimes I struggle, but then once I get it, it's like why did I have a problem in the first place? <laughs> of course, this will be fun for my niece. She can watch this video and uh, see me making her stuff. No uh, surprises for Christmas. <laughs> it's an early Christmas gift. There, look at that. That is awesome. My stomach. And then the next bead. Look at that. Just gonna. One of the things I always say with doing leather wrap bracelets is measure, measure, measure. So you do a strand, like a, a loop, make sure you measure it. Take it off your board, measure it. It's annoying having to unhook it from your board all the time, but I've made so many bracelets where the colors didn't match up because I didn't take it off and measure against my wrist. And that's the other thing. I have to order my mandrel because I didn't realize my wrist is extremely small. Now, there's probably a lot of women out there with six and a half inch wrists but um you know when i'm making bracelets for other people i gotta make sure i get the right size so we'll take one more of these guys i'm so excited that i got to use these i've had them forever there's my tube i keep tossing it away <laughs> okay one two Three. Yeah, this part's getting a bit stiff. And thread it through. It feels good having lots of leather on the end so that I know I'm going to have enough. So pull your knot down to where you want it. And this is looking awesome. This leather is delicious. I, you know, was concerned with using it because the strands... You know, it goes maybe an inch and a half to two inches before it changes to the next color. So on a bracelet, you won't see that color transition. Not like you do on the spool. But doing it this way with the barrel knots, you get to see all the colors of the rainbow. It's so beautiful. This is awesome. Okay, I'm making this one for myself. <laughs> Let's squeeze this together. A bit better. So yeah, this was t uh, stiff, so it's popping apart a bit. So I'm just kind of play with it. Okay, then uh, we left about an inch.
from the button to the first knot. So let's do the same here. And let me measure this again. So it's looking a bit short. So we will just leave more. Yeah. I mean, we could add another bead, but then it will be kind of off the pattern. So let's, let's see where this takes us. Um, the loop is actually going to be, so the loop will be, yeah, slightly larger than half an inch. So let me, I want it to be eight, so. And sorry for all this measuring thing. There, I want it that long. So I'm going to fold it at this point. Okay. And I'm going to leave enough for the button to go through so then I'm going to start my barrel knot right here so let's get our tube where's the tube oh I have a I keep tossing it to the side and losing it okay so let's do this one two Three, you know what? I'm gonna do four. Just, just for fun, cause we can. And bring that through, pop it through. That looks awesome, actually. And. Again, because this is your closure, you want to make sure that you pull your knot as tight as possible because if it gets yanked, let me see. So it could actually totally pull out. So sometimes what I do is I put a um, crimp cover on this piece here so it can't pull through. So if this gets yanked, it's just going to stop on that bead. I'm not going to do it for this one. I might change my mind later, but for now, we're just going to leave it. Um, we could probably close that a little. Tighten it super duper tight. That should not go anywhere. Perfect. Let's measure this before I cut it. So it's just a tick short of the eight. I could probably stretch this a bit. Tighten these knots. Let's see what that did. That brought it to eight. Look at that. So you can see how leather is really forgiving. So let's... Um, I'm going to leave a bit on here. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with it. So let's just cut it straight and figure that out later. Here we go. So this was the one that we were using as a gauge. And that was this beautiful uh, pearl colored uh, leather. Let's put these guys aside, move that. And this is the rainbow one with the piece and this gorgeous button. So that is beautiful. And this helps you practice your barrel knots. And you know what? You don't have to do barrel knots. You could do regular knots a lot simpler. <laughs> Less frustration. But there you go. This is awesome. You can put charms on it and everything. And again, like these are all stackable. Let's take these guys and, you know, something like that. Looks amazing. So that's that one. We are at the 55 minute mark. Let's see if we can do the last one in a couple of minutes. Um, 
You know, I think I put out stuff. This bracelet here that I put the magnet on, I actually was going to do these closures. These claw closures. I didn't realize. So that is an option too. But this actually looks pretty good, like it worked. So this one is this gorgeous blue um, metallic leather. And I am so excited. My One of my favorite, favorite beads of all time is this <laughs> Batman head with the little bat hidden. Try and get that so it's not uh, underneath his chin. So that's super. And it's great. These beads I got for a dollar at Michael's on sale. I wish I'd have got more. Um, third, uh, da, 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 check glass beads, I think a 2.0, and they fit on this 2 millimeter leather, so that's super cool. So let's make a bracelet with this, um, and I think we're going to use this button, this gorgeous skull button. So again, you know what, I'm just going to cut a big piece of leather. Just for sake of speed here and let's move this stuff aside so we're done and take some of these guys out Ooh. these are delicious what I think we're gonna stick with the blue ones on these so I am just gonna Start by putting the button on. It's a bit tight. Let me ream this out a bit. Don't want to scuff up the the leather. Oh, this is super easy to ream. So some buttons will be easier than others. There. Watch how easy that goes through. Just be careful that it might be like get scuffed. I'm going to take my bracelet off. It's got a magnet on it. keeps attaching to my... <laughs> I need a new ruler, one that's not magnetic. Just want to make sure I have enough to turn here for the barrel knot. And get my tube. So if you're wondering why I use barrel knots so much, I like them because they um, hold a lot better than a just a straight lot knot and they look a lot tidier so that's why I use them so much and after making so many leather wrap bracelets and having them fall apart yeah you definitely want to so I probably could have used a little more leather there but I'll just See what we can manage with this. Pull your tube out and grab a hold of that little move your knot down to your button. And I'm going to pull that a little more and I'm going to yank on this to make sure it's nice and tight. There. So you see I still have a lot here even though I was struggling to get it in my oh this is gonna be beautiful okay so now I'm trying to decide I think what I want to do is do a strand you know I could actually use this piece tuck it into the the barrel knot and that would secure it, actually. Why didn't I think of that sooner? Two, three. Push that through. Hang on to your knot. Pull up and don't get that tangled. Pull through, pull your tube through and Pull your knot tight and pull that piece so that it's even with the other, like that. And just clip that middle end. Look at that. 
There you go. Now it's secure. And we are going to put some beads on. So let's do... You know, I kind of want this one for myself. <laughs> sorry! Sorry, not sorry. So we're going to do a 7 inch. So let me see how many... Ooh, it's sketch on how many beads, and some of these won't fit. Oh, let me cut this on an angle here. I hear my wife um, in the hall. She must be getting ready for Din Din. So I better get, get moving. We are at the one minute mark. I'm going to string these on, and I'll be right back because I'm worried my camera's going to shut off. I'll be right back. So I'm back. I got this far on the bracelet. So I added some beads around the side and barrel knots. And we have this beautiful button. And look it. There is not even enough to create a loop for my tiny wrist. Like, you see how small this ends up being. So there is a perfect example of how much the barrel knots chew up your leather. So I'm going to redo this, but for the sake of this video, you get the idea. This is an awesome bracelet that you can make. And I have some uh, Wonder Woman um, beads and stuff that I can do. A Wonder Woman one. So I'm going to do some superhero ones. So I'll, I'll show you a redone one of this. And maybe I'll have some better measurements for you. <laughs> Anyway, so hopefully, you know, you weren't too frustrated. Here are the bracelets that we made today. So these, let's see, which one's my favorite? Um, this one is just, I love it. Just gorgeous. I love the beautiful colors and the buttons. And it's a very boho feeling and I love this guy so there you go thank you so much for watching I hope that wasn't too frustrating for you but that was the idea was to give you specifically these ones how quick and this one how quick you can make a bracelet with your leather you don't have to put a whole bunch of beads on them and stuff just some basic stuff so I will try and continue with a leather themed bracelet thing maybe once a week and the next ones I'm going to show you are some leather wrap bracelets with 8mm. Somebody mentioned that she didn't see any uh, tutorials with 8mm.